I heard. Hola Verónica, buenas noches. Mucho Hola, gusto. Buenas noches, Luz. ¿Cómo le va? Y no sé por qué le escucho bien suave. Pero es que no sé si será el micrófono. Quizás sí, porque le escucho súper suave. ¿Y ahora? ¿Ahora se me escucha o no se me escucha? Nada. Buenas noches, Andrés. Good evening. Hoy oh, sí. Pero se le escucha bien suave. Se le escucha bien suave. Good evening. Good evening. Y ahora se me escucha. No. Buenas noches. Se oye de lejos. Hola, Luz. ¿Y ahora? Sí, ya en estéreo. Ah, pues son, los, eh, son los audífonos. Ayer era la cámara y son los audífonos. Ah. Siempre pasa algo, don Worry. Sí. Hola, Vilene, que me da alegría saludarle. Hello everyone, hello, hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening teacher, I got how are mask. you? I am fine. I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, thank you so much for, for being here. It's super, super nice to, to see you guys. Uh, you're super on time, very responsible, so I really like it, thank you. Veronica, good evening. Luz, hello, good evening Luz. Eh, Doris, hello. Ada, good evening. Good evening. good evening. Andrés, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uy, my mask. Hello, Doris. <laughs> my mask got stuck. No se ahorque, no se ahorque. My mask got stuck. I'm not trying, I'm not, you're not taking it out. César, it's good to see you, Guillermo. How are you? Lo extrañamos ayer. We missed you a lot oh, yesterday. You. Avilén, Elizabeth, hello. Uh, Doris. Hola, hola. Silvia, good evening. How are you? Everything good? Are you fine? Are you good? <laughs> yes, everything's good. Yes. 
All right, so nice to have you guys. Nice to have you today. Uh, Sylvia, I see also that we are getting Sylvia here. So thank you so much for connecting. It is super nice to, to have you, you know, one more day here. I'm sorry, but I'm a little sick. Así que si me escuchan ronca, you know, it's me talking. <laughs> but I'm a little sick. All right. Uh, Fatima, hello. Good evening, Fatima. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. Hola, Fatima. <coughs> nice to, to, to have you. Creo que escuché Milagro hace un par de segunditos. I think I heard Milagro, but I don't see her. Okay. So, um, yeah, something may have happened. Okay, everybody. So, we are going to get started today. And we are going to, uh, well, we have a lot of practice today. We are going to be practicing like a lot of things and maybe like, a, oh, sorry, like a new topic here. So, hold on. I, I moved something that I was not supposed to move. Okay. So, um, let me get started and let me show you this. So, uh, today is station number three and today is Thursday, is September the 24th. We are going to have our class number uh, three, right? Tomorrow is Friday, guys. Tomorrow is Friday. So, I really love Fridays. I hope you like Fridays too. Friday is my favorite day of the week. And... Um, this is what we are going to be doing today. We are going to check simple present statements. We continue a little with simple present. Y agregamos un tema más que es how much and how many. We are going to have a speaking practice. Then we have wrap up and homework. No sé si ya revisaron. I really hope you did. Because eh, ya están los photos. The photos are ready, right? If I'm not mistaken, hasta la unidad, hasta la cinco, session number five. So everything is ready for you guys. Go practice. Uh, the little reminder that we have is, please, si me ayudan para el día de mañana completar hasta la unidad número uno. That would be super, super awesome. So tomorrow up to unit is unit number one completely. Todos los que tenemos como la daily homework, right? Solo hay como una extra más. And pretty much that's going to be it. So those are part of my announcements, all right? And uh, here we have like some frequency words that we are going to be um, like practicing today. And um, hold on just a quick second. Yeah, here we go. So first of all, I want you to uh, please repeat after me. Let's take a look at some words that we have right here. So let's repeat them, please. Always. 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 Almost always. Always. Almost always. Almost always. Almost always. Almost always. Yeah, often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Rarely. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Never. 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 Excellent. Very good pronunciation. Yeah. That is like our part number one. Now I got some questions for you guys. Okay. So, oh, there is a mistake there. Okay. Um, this okay. question okay. are for you to practice. Okay. How often? How often do you take a shower? And these are the possibilities. Okay. How often do you take a shower? So you can say always. Okay. Always, always is like 100%, like every day, okay? Every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Then we have almost always. If you pay attention, mm -hmm. this is like, like all the way down, all the way down. And let me make this a small. Let me make this, oh, let me make this a small. For example, always is like 100%, okay? I always, I always take a shower. I always drink coffee. What is something that you mm -hmm. always do? What do you always do? Always? Is there any- Take a shower? I drink coffees. <laughs> drink coffee, take a shower. Uh-huh, anything else? Mm -hmm. Eat, wake up early. 
Eat. Wake up early. Eat. Yeah. Okay. Drink water. That's important. Yeah, sleep. Sleep. Check this Watch out. TV. <laughs> Watch TV. Okay. Then we come to almost always. Almost always is like, ooh, all the way down. Okay. Now, always 100%. Almost always is like, eh, 90. Let's say 90%. Okay. Almost always. 90%. Okay, what is an activity that you almost always do? An activity? For example, almost always I eat dinner. Work? Mm, but, okay, okay, yeah, that works. So almost always. Uh -huh. Yes, Veronica? I cooking. Almost always. Uh huh. very good. Or you buy pupusas. <laughs> and you uh -huh. Yeah, so almost always is mm -hmm. like 90%. I almost always cook. Mm -hmm. In my case, I make my food. I cook for me. Yeah, but sometimes for breakfast, I don't want to cook. I have coffee and a semita. So I almost <laughs> always cook. So not always. Now, often... Often is like 70%, yeah? Like 70, oh, sorry. So this one is like 70%. Uh, wait, I'm writing somewhere else. Uh -huh. So often is like often, but not always, yeah? For example, I often go to church. I often do exercise. Often, okay? Like 70%. I often read. I often study. What do you often do? Supermarket. I often go to the supermarket. Yeah, yeah. What else? Often, often. What do you often do? Anything else? What is often ditch Para lavar los trastes, ¿cómo diría? You often do the dishes. Eso. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, so you often do the dishes. Thank you, I thank you. I often play football. I often play football, very nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sometimes, what about sometimes? I often a music. I often listen to music, very good. Yes, yeah. don't, don't worry, don't worry, you're good. I often listen to music. Ajá. Uh -huh. Often. I often beautiful salon. Uh -huh. I often go to my, the beautiful salon. Yeah. I often change the color of my hair. So yes. I get red, black, <laughs> brown. Okay, Jennifer, what is something that you often do? I often go to work. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, you often go to work. Really often? I think almost always. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe in the quarantine, that's an often. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, sometimes, if you pay attention, we got 100, 90, <coughs> 70, 60. Okay. Sometimes, not often, but sometimes, like 50, 60 percent. Yeah. So we got, I sometimes. Vacation. I sometimes, um, sometimes, yeah, it can work. I sometimes have vacation. Uh huh. I sometimes, Sylvia, what is something that you sometimes do? Teacher. Yes, Miss. Quería hacerle un una. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Un comentario. Pregunta. Yeah, tell me. Mío, fíjese que a mí me está costando mucho eh, adaptarme al, al, al léxico en inglés. Ah, ok, Entonces, ok. Yo no sé si habría posibilidades, por ejemplo, ahorita eh, le estoy tratando la manera de forzarme de, de que más o menos le he entendido que el often se usa para study, para los ejemplos que están dando. Pero uh -huh. si yo no los anoto, 
Después no me voy a cortar en una oración. Ah, por supuesto. Eh, sí, Luz, le, le, comprendo, le comprendo totalmente. Fíjese que nuestras eh, diapositivas son de uso interno, pero eh, usted le puede tomar siempre una captura. Y de hecho, nosotros recomendamos cómo tomarle captura para que a usted le quede guardadito por ahí. And, uh, y siempre es recomendable, si usted tiene un cuadernito, usted los puede anotar en su cuaderno. Eh, si... Um, hay personas que son como bien tequi y prefieren usar la computadora para ir tomando notas en un blog. Entonces, eh, chicos, ¿qué se les hace más fácil? Personalmente, yo tengo mi cuaderno siempre y yo voy anotando. Tal vez, teacher, que no tiene espacio de ir anotando lo que usted no parece, por ejemplo, lo often, en qué palabras se usa o con qué palabras se pueden conjugar, ¿verdad? Ah, usted ok. No permitiera o que no dictara, ¿verdad? para ir este, nosotros anotando, porque le digo, a mí se me dificulta y, y por eso es que yo no le, le participo mucho, pues porque ah, okay. están incluso la, la, el último ejercicio de ayer, eh, pedí el, el apoyo y gracias a Dios, a Andrew, pues él me apoyó mucho y yo pude corregir, pues, ¿verdad? El ejercicio del día de ayer. Claro, le comprendo. Bueno, porque como lo hicimos en inglés. No, 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 no entiendo mucho, teacher. No se preocupe, mis, es totalmente comprensible. Gracias por el comentario. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta para darles un poquito más de, de tiempo, Ray, right? para que tomen notas. No se preocupe. Igual, eh, Luz, si, siempre, chicos, que tengan comentarios, eh, háganmelo, hacer, um, háganmelo llegar de la misma forma que Luz lo hace para que nosotros como bajemos un poquito, vamos un poco más lento, en um, algunas cosas, por ejemplo, las dos primeras clases han sido un repaso, ¿verdad? Han sido como un review de lo que ustedes vieron en nivel 1 o 2. Eh, algunas veces se nos olvida y es normal que, que tenemos un par de, de días, ¿verdad? De no practicar. Entonces, el vocabulario siempre tengamos a la mano como un cuadernito, eh, un blog de notas para que vayan tomando y anotando y, y practicando el vocabulary. So, eh, Luz, retomando lo que usted mencionó anteriormente, guys, eh, let's go over frequency words. Las frequency words no las usamos eh, con palabras específicas, right? But as the word says, dice frecuencia. So, we are going to use it. ¿Por qué tan a menudo? How often you do one activity. So, here, les he escrito el porcentaje para que hagamos como la conexión. Always, 100%. Siempre lo hago. I always do it. All right? So, activities that we always do. Es lo que siempre hacemos. Then we have almost always. So, if you pay attention, always, almost always, often, sometimes. So, si lo ponemos como en una escala, vamos disminuyendo qué tan a menudo hacemos algo. How often we do one activity. So, we have 190, 70, 60%. Rarely. That, this is like a Spanish, rarely. So rarely, it can be like 40%. Estamos hablando de frecuencias, right? We are talking about frequency words. And then we have hardly ever. Hardly ever, it's like uh, maybe 20%, okay? So like hardly ever, casi nunca. What is an activity that you hardly ever do? Teacher, a question. Yes, Andrés, tell me. Seldom eh, significa lo mismo que rarely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's correct. So, eh, it's like, no hay como mayor diferencia. Les he escrito el numerito para que hagamos la relación. But yeah, rarely and ah. seldom. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yeah, it's true. Spanish, ¿cuál es la traducción? Um, seldom. Rara vez. Rara lo mismo que rarely. Mm -hmm. Seldom. Okay. So, this is why seldom and rarely hay palabras que llamamos synonyms. So, they are synonyms. Mm -hmm. And then we have hardly ever. This hardly ever is, if you pay attention, we have never, yeah? Never is Nunca. zero. <laughs> yeah, zero percent. So never. ¿Y qué es lo más cercano a never? What's closest to never? Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Hardly. So that's hardly ever, yeah? So tell me, what is something that you hardly ever do? Miss. Yes. Y so-so, ¿cómo lo, ¿cómo lo identifico o lo traduzco? 
Eh, Porque pero, yo entendía como más o menos. Pero no en un grado de frecuencia, pero eh, so so es ah. nuestra, nuestro equivalente a um, cuando preguntamos cómo estás, so so. so más so. o menos, pero en un grado de sentimiento quizá, all right? pero no en un grado de frecuencia. En this way, es más, es más emotion. Yeah, so, it, uh -huh. or how is the movie? Como en un grado de, de, de identificación. De, de satisfacción. De satisfacción, thank you. For example, hey, how is the movie? Ah, so, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I watched it yeah. better. Yeah, so, but no en un grado de, de frecuencia, right? So, tell me an activity that you hardly ever do. Hardly ever... Go to the church. Go to zoo. church. Go to the zoo. Uh -huh. Visit a dentist. Visit a dentist. <laughs> and you're a doctor. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> or visit the doctor. <laughs> visit the doctor. <laughs> visit the doctor. You do it always. So you always <laughs> visit other doctors. <laughs> uh -huh. What is something that you hardly ever do? I, I, hardly, I hardly ever paint my house. You hardly ever paint your house? Okay, that's okay. Uh, Isaac, hello. What is something that you hardly ever do? Isaac? Isaac, are you there? I see you, Isaac, but I cannot listen to you. Tengo un poquito de problema de 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 escucharle. No sé si será mi. Okay, hardly ever. No, pero. Uh, Isaac, can you hear me? ¿Me, me logra escuchar? Can you hear me? Sí, 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 sí. Repíteme no. la pregunta muy bien. No la comprendí muy bien. No se preocupe, yo creo que hay un poquito de lagging. Está un poquito um, como... Siempre hay lag, right? With, because of the, of the internet. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, hardly ever, hardly ever. What is something, Isaac, that you hardly ever do? Algo que casi nunca hace. Yeah, I think I... Okay. Ahí creo que, que me quedé un poquito... Eh, Incompleto con la, con, la, con la pregunta, sí. Ok, ok. Don't worry, don't worry, uh, Isaac. Creo que tenemos lag, so it's ok, it's fine. Um, Francisco, are you around? Yes, mi lag, tell me. Hardly ever take a shower at the night. Ok, thank you. So you hardly ever take a shower at night. Yeah, give me a second. Los porcentajes que he puesto ahí. Give me just a second, Milagro. Okay, so Milagro, your question is about the percentages, los porcentajes. Eso, eso quiero saber a qué se deben los porcentajes que, que ha colocado en, la, en las palabras. Um, because we are talking about frequency. Es una, un, how can I explain this? Um, so, eh, Milagro, conecte eh, la palabra, connect the word con un número para indicar como qué tan a menudo usted hace algo, right? So, this one solamente es para tener referencia. If I eliminate this, for example, always 100%. Significa que yo siempre lo hago. Never, 0%. Todo lo opuesto, yo nunca lo hago. So, a percentage solo es un, como una idea de conectarlo, right? Pero no significa nada más. So, it's only para tener una referencia. Uh -huh. So, Milagro, what is something that you never do? Algo que no usa, nunca hace? What is something you never do? Uh, 
uh, comer conchas. Nunca okay. Lo hago. So you never eat shells. Mm -hmm. You never eat shells. So everybody, do me a big, big favor, please. Vamos a escribir una oración. You are going to write a sentence using the frequency words. ¿Cómo las usamos? How do we use them? We are going to have your subject. Then we are going to have the frequency word. Yeah. Then we are going to have the verb. And then we are going to have the complement. Yeah. For example, I always study English. Okay. I always study English, for example. So try to follow this and try to write one, only one. Okay. So pueden hacerlo con todos o escogen dos. You can choose two, you can choose three. And write your sentences, please. So I'm going to make this bigger. Lo voy a hacer más grande so you can take a look at this better. And uh, I will give you like five minutes max to write your sentences. Si tienen dificultades con alguna, let me know. Y la revisamos. We can take a look. Tenemos que hacer eh, frases eh, usando esas, la frecuencia de las palabras. No, here, como mi ejemplo, like my example, I always study English. So sentences, ah. vamos a hacer oraciones. Uh -huh. ah, así como, I always uh, eat pupusa. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, exactly, exactly like that. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, ¿Sería una oración por cada palabra? No, puedes coger tres. You can choose three. Puedes coger tres de ellos and write the sentences. Si los puede hacer con todos, perfecto. There is no problem. That would be great. That, that is awesome. You are welcome. Podar, podar o portar césped, ¿cómo sería? Um, se le escribo ahorita en el chat. I'm going to write it here in the chat. Ay, qué bueno este café. <risa> um, I, I share this in the chat. Hello. Es, es. Sería correcto decir, she, of, she often used a notebook. Thanks, teacher. Yes, but, but, but we are missing something. Le hace falta una cosita. <laughs> We're missing something. She often used a notebook. Mm, your previous sentence was good. Solo le falta una letra. You are missing only one letter. Uses. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That was the letter. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Uh, please always give me verbal confirmation when you finish. Tell me, teacher done, teacher finished, or teacher, I need help. Finish. Thank you, Ada. Thank you very much. Sandra, uh, Patricia, also, I see you are here, ready. Thank you very much for, for coming. Um, Edith, hello. No le había saludado. Hello there. Finish. I hope you are Finish, good. Teacher. Hello, hello, good night. Hello, hello. It's nice to, to see you here. Done? Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Thank you very much. Okay, hold on. Oops, not okay. Oi, what happened? Okay, very good. So let me have just some volunteers go over this part. Um, let me have a Doris. Hello, Doris. I would like to listen to you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Give me one example, please. I always take a shower in the morning. Thank you. Super good. Yes. Uh, Ada. Yes, me. Fíjese que tengo una consulta. Tell en me, la estructura me, que dice ahorita eh, pone primero el subject y then eh, frequency work. Pero uh -huh. eh, recuerdo que en el módulo pasado, una vez yo le eh, también la consulta y me aclaraba, por ejemplo, cuando estábamos el everyday, utilizarlos hasta el final. No aplica igual con esto, o hay alguna excepción. No me contestaste, Dani. Ah, no me, no me. Uh, ahorita, give me just a quick second. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you got it. You are totally right. My mistake was that I said frequency word. And here, it is not a frequency word, but it's a frequency adverb. Sorry. Yes, you are right. So las frequency words, si son las every day, you know, eh, in the morning, in the afternoon. Yes, that was the, the little mistake or the little confusion here. It's frequency adverb. Para ser bien específico, right? Mm -hmm. Um, no, no sé si aclaro su pregunta. I don't know if I clarify this. I see also, I saw that we have a Ada's hand up. So Ada, okay. you ready? Okay. I always drink coffee in the morning every day. I almost always listen to music. I rarely watch TV and mm -hmm. I hardly ever eat the mariscos, no sé cómo se pone. <laughs> Seafood. Yeah, very good. Nice. That sounds super good. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Do I have another volunteer? Give me just a quick second. I'm going to mute you for a, a quick so I can listen to you guys. Uh, Silvia. Yes, yeah, Silvia. Please, one example. I almost always running. Okay, I almost always run. Thank you. Very good. Another person, please. Anybody else? Volunteers? So, Cesar, I thank sometimes you. go to the mountain. I sometimes go to the mountains. Yes, very good. Cesar, you are my victim today. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I always play with my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. That's a very good example. Le voy a cobrar que no estuvo ayer. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, okay. you're fine. Okay, okay. Fine. Elizabeth, do you have an example for me? Este, just TV. I always listen listen music. <laughs> very good. I always listen to music. I yeah? I often do exercise. Uh huh. I sometimes go to work. I almost always uh, dibujar como se dice. Draw. 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 Draw.
Oh, good, good. Don't worry. It's very nice. Very good examples, Elizabeth. Okay, so now it's our time to practice, okay? I have some questions for you guys that we are going to practice. How often do you take a shower? Um, I was typing super fast and se me fue la How often do you take a shower? How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you check your cell phone? How often do you drink water? How often do you eat cookies? Vamos a practicar lo que vimos, you know, the once a day, once a week, in the morning, in the afternoon, and we are going to combine it. Vamos a combinarlo un poquito con lo que acabamos de ver, all right? Esto lo vamos a practicar poquito a poquito, así que ahora no se preocupen, this is only the introduction. Podemos decir de una sola vez, always, never, hardly ever, okay, so, sometimes, and it's okay, we are super good. So, vamos a hacer canales. So, because I want to listen to you practicing, okay? Remember, eh, la práctica la encontramos solamente, o mejoramos a speaking, solo practicando. So, we got to practice, we got to practice. Pregunten, chicos, si algo no está claro, ask, okay? Si voy muy rápido, tell me. <laughs> because me emociono, I get excited. <laughs> and I go running. So, ¿estamos bien? Are we good so far? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay, super good. So do me a big favor, take a picture or write them on your notebook. Okay. So you can take a picture, take a screenshot if you are in your cell phone. And let me know. Me avisan cuando están listos. Let me know when you are ready. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Por el momento, mi solo tome la captura, take a picture, y vamos a practicar las preguntas. Respondiendo y vamos a utilizar lo que acabamos de ver. Always, never, sometimes. Ok. Uh -huh. Do you take a shower? Let me know when you're ready, please. Ready, teacher. Ready. ready. Okay. Ready. Okay. Okay. Super good. So I'm going to make the um, the channels. Okay. I'm going to make the rooms so you can practice. Um, uh, uh, uh. Chicos, solamente antes de irnos, háganme un enorme, enorme favor. Eh, el nombre completo, asociación de Zoom, al igual que lo tiene Fátima, porfa. So, así completo, Fátima y Fenia López Ramos, like, el nombre completo, como está en su video, porfa. Eh, ¿Nombre? Uh -huh, porque me, algunos me aparece el nombre como nombre apellido, pero me están pidiendo que, que para el registro de Zoom, a veces no, nos cuesta encontrarle un poquito. Porfa, ayúdenme con el nombre completo. ¿Cómo pongo el nombre completo? Aquí? Oh, all right. Ven mi... No. Give me a second. Ven mi pantalla. Do you see my screen? ¿Se ven ustedes? Yes. Ok. Mm, permítame. Let me see. Let me stop sharing this. No sé si me... Uh, ok. No sé si logran ver, ven mi mouse. Do you see my mouse? No. no. Solo su cara. Entonces no. You have to see my Wait. mouse. <laughs> no my face. <laughs> my face is not beautiful. No, way. Uh -huh. Cuando aparezca la cuadrícula de todas las, las imágenes, uh -huh. eh, denle clic en, en los tres puntitos, se dice rename. Thank Ahí you. Thank you, exactly, that is the one. So, por alguna razón no les puedo compartir this one, que es raro. Ok, cuando usted pone su mouse en la parte superior de su foto, right, of your face, hay tres puntitos, como lo indicaba Andrés, I believe. No. Andrés, right? ¿Quién nos comentaba no. los puntitos? Eh, Guillermo. Creo que fue Guillermo. Guillermo, ok. 
Yeah, I couldn't identify the voices. Okay. ¿Les aparece? Pero eso lo puede hacer solo en la computadora, lo que dijo Irma. Si está desde el celular, tendría que salir de la sesión y, en, y afuera ponerle el, el nombre. So, y se los, a entrar. Les, voy a, uh, les voy a modificar algunos. I'm going to modify some here. So, vamos a los puntitos y ahí donde está el puntito dice... Um, ya le digo cómo dice. Le parece renombrar. Entonces, vamos a renombrar. Y escribimos el nombre completo. César, el suyo sí me aparece completo. Por alguna razón no lo veo. Verónica, déjeme revisar. Porque por alguna razón yo no lo veo verlo completo. Thank you. I see yours complete. Sí aparece completo, pero no lo muestra la pantalla. Uh -huh. No, pero sí, ya lo vi. I saw yours. Jennifer, ¿cuál es su nombre completo? Jennifer Elizabeth. Ah, perdón. Jennifer Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Hueso de alas. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ya se lo cambié. I share, change yours. ¿Qué más me parece completo? Let me take a look. El de Sandra me parece completo. Edi también. Uh, let me take a look. Uh -huh. Luz solamente tiene un apellido. Solamente escribe Luz. Es que fíjese, teacher, que en el DUI me parece... Luz Guadalupe Esquivel de Muñoz, pero yo ya... Miss, me mutió, mutió su audio, no, no le escuchamos. Perdón, fíjese que yo estoy con, en el DUI, Luz Guadalupe Esquivel de Muñoz, pero yo ya estoy divorciada. Ah. Entonces, yo no quiero que me parezca el de Muñoz. Por eso es que comprendo, pero comprendo. ya me ubico en esos trámites estoy no, no de aprender mi, mi Dui. Sí, bueno, déjeme preguntar. <ríe> la el mía. Loma me ha salido como Luz Guadalupe Esquivel. Ah, o sea, vaya. Todas, todas las solicitudes le he puesto Luz Guadalupe Esquivel. Ah, vaya. Entonces déjenme, déjenme solamente comprobar, perdón, eh, confirmar. That's comprobar, ¿no? <ríe> I'm gonna <ríe> confirm. <ríe> Si sí, sí, me pones de Muñoz, sí, realmente ahí me, me va a afectar. Sí, no se preocupe, ya. déjeme solamente eh, confirmar que no, no haya ninguna dificultad. Let me just ask. Right. You're welcome. No problem. Ok, gracias a todos. Thank you so much. I see your names already. Um, Guillermo, no lo veía. I see you now. <laughs> uh, so solamente escuché la voz, but I didn't know. <laughs> Ay, no sabía dónde estaba. Guillermo, only one name, only Guillermo, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Incluso ah, okay. Ponce no va, pero igual. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. pero, pero el diploma anterior sí le pareció. No, ni siquiera lo he visto. <risa> ni ah. siquiera no. Y, y el, no lo han mandado, teacher. No, es, es que directamente en Sephora quien se va a encargar. So, ellos les van a hacer llegar el diploma. Eh, Guillermo, but, pero en su DUI se aparece, no aparece. Sí, así está bien. Así está bien como está. Super. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I want to make sure. <laughs> I didn't really know. Okay, guys. No so, eh, Guillermo, did you take the picture? Yep. Okay, super good. So, I didn't know if you were here. So, I'm going to invite you. I'm going to send you the invitation. Please get in the group. Okay. Y vamos a practicar. So, we are going to practice. I will give you five minutes. And so ask your classmates, ask them questions. When you finish, I will bring you back, okay? Me los traigo later. So five minutes, five minutes. And uh, say hello, you know, talk to them. No, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I sent you the invitation to me. Okay, there you go, there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's join, let's join. Thank you very much, guys. Hi, Milagro. Hello, Mary. take a shower, Guillermo? Uh, I take my shower often uh, at 7, 8 o'clock. 
in the morning. Okay, is always or is always. Okay. I wake up to, to see the five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How often do you brush your teeth, Cesar? Uh, I brush my teeth uh, always. Always. Okay. Yes. How often do you shake your cell phone, Francisco? I check my cell phone uh, sometimes. Sometimes. No, oh, diga la verdad. <laughs> In that day, this. In the day. <laughs> often. Okay. How often do you drink water, Guillermo? I drink uh, uh, glass water, uh, everything over. Okay. And how often do you? Okay. How often do you dance, Cesar? I I rarely I rarely dance. <laughs> okay. Do you like cookies, Edith? And sometimes I I sometimes eat cookies. How often do you eat cookies? How often do you eat cookies? How often do you eat cookies? I sometimes eat cookies. Okay. Why flavor? Why? <laughs> Why flavors? Que sabor. Ah, okay. And chocolate. Or chocolate? Yes. <laughs> How often do you brush your teeth, Cesar? Ah, y es la misma pregunta del anterior, cierto, lo siento. <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, how often? Vaya a preguntar. Todo te contestamos. Ajá. Okay. How often do you take a shower? Hoy sí. Uh -huh. No. I am always take a shower. Always. Always. Never. Ush. <laughs> <laughs> Never. No. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, guys, I don't know you, pero creo que está, está respondiendo a la pregunta anterior. <laughs> sí. Isaac, Isaac never, never take a show with this shit. Vaya, va la siguiente pregunta. Next question. Yeah. How often do you brush your teeth? Always. Cow. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Ay, milagro. How often do you take a shower? Voy a buscar la captura que hizo porque ya la perdí. No worries, no worries, mi ley. Podemos usarlo de ayer. Oh. Every day, in the morning, in the afternoon. También podemos usar eso. So you can use them. Ahí me perdonan, pero yo sinceramente sí. Me, me está costando. No se preocupe. Eh, Le repito la pregunta. Sí, la pregunta es cuánto... Eh, eh, ¿Qué tan a menudo se daña? A, a los ocho... ¿Y cómo se dice? A la, a la semana. Oh my God. I take a shower. 
one day. <laughs> no, I take a shower every day. <laughs> but, but but if you want to say like cada ocho días, you can also say I take a shower once a week or I take a shower oh. um every Sunday, <laughs> every Saturday. Uh -huh. On Saturday. Uh huh. That works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ya la descubrimos, mi amor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How, how often do you brush your teeth, Milagro? I brush. Hey, Guillermo, thank you for for coming back. It was only like five minutes. Hi, Cesar, Francisco, hello, Edith, hello. Are you a little sick, me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, hello. Edith, are you kind of sick, like me? <laughs> Repeat, please, teacher. Uh, yeah, are you sick? Are you kind of sick? Esta enferma? Are you sick? sick. Ah, sick. Um, yes, sick. I have um, uh, dolor de garganta, no sé cómo. Se lo comparto ahorita. I'm going to share this. How often do you take? I have, oh, okay. I have a sore throat. Sore throat. Mm -hmm. I have a sore throat. So, mm -hmm. I have a sore okay. throat. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for coming back. So, let's go on. I have just random questions for everybody. So, for example, how often do you take a shower? How often do you take a shower, guys? I always take a shower. Nice. Thank you, Jennifer. How often do you brush your teeth? Teacher, I am brush, I... say to three times to day or day? A day, yes. A day. Three times a day. Uh -huh. Three times a day. Andres, tell me. No, but, 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 but do it. Say it. Say it. Uh -huh. no, repeat it. Repeat it. No worries. I am, I am almost uh, always that brush the teeth three you times. Ah, three times. Okay. Okay. How often do you check your cell phone? Luz, how often do you check your cell phone? Chicos, solo si me le bajan un poquito este televisor, please. A las noticias. Ya está leído. Thank you. Yes, Luz, tell me. I often shake my cell phone um, um, all, all sometimes. Very nice. Okay. Sometimes, okay, and often. Very good, very good. I just got more, one more question for you. How often do you drink water? How, Fatima, how often do you drink water? I always mm -hmm. drink water. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, so... We will continue talking about this. Vamos a seguir with this, right? Eso fue solamente como la, una cucharadita, okay? <laughs> but in the meantime, we are going to practice like another topic. And this is a little bit different, let's say. So let me share my screen. De hecho, espero que ya tengamos el material, que ya lo hayan descargado, because this is in your material, right? Para que vayamos también como... Siguiéndolo, tomando notas, so para que sea más fácil el acceso en everything. So let's take a look. Here we have request specific personal finance information. 
using how much and how many. So, first, uh, can I have two volunteers? Alguien me quiere ayudar a leer. Would you like to help me read? Fine. Thank you, Edith. Hi. Another person? Yo. Okay, okay. Thank you, Vero. Thank you. So, Edith, you can read the part of Ruth, and Vero, you can read the part of Josh, please. Solo leamos, okay. just read it. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be accepted. Uh, How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What, what about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. It's 600. Six. 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 Uh, six yeah, excellent. Very good pronunciation, girls. Nice, nice. Now, everybody, please, let's repeat. Paid. 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 Vacation. 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 Uh -huh. I know it's a spaca, mm -hmm. but we say vacay. Uh -huh. So vacation. Vacation. Okay. So how many days do you have in your vacation? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next one. Bonus. 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 Bonuses. 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 Receive. 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 Each. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, what I want you to do is the following. Let's take a look. How many days do you have in your vacations? The How person you says have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. But remember, esta información no aplica para salvadoreños, maybe. So, my vacation is not 20 days. I don't know, you guys. The next question no. says... How many bonuses? Bonuses, okay, money. How many bonuses do you have per year? I don't know you, but the person says, um, I have four bonuses. In my case, this is not true. I hmm. don't have four bonuses. How Aquí many no bonuses do you have <laughs> per year? Yeah, and the next one, it says, how much, okay, about money, how much do you receive? $50, 100 20 30 40 okay, and how often do you receive? Here only, thank you. Maybe here it's only thank you. I don't know your company. <laughs> I don't know if you work for the government. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know your job. <laughs> I mean, some companies are super good, yeah? Sometimes you receive two bonuses, one bonus every month, one bonus every two months. But this is not Salvadorian reality, maybe. <laughs> so let's take a look. We are going to answer these questions. Question number one, do you have paid vacation? Yes or no? Do you have paid vacation? Yes or no? Question number two, how many days do you have in your vacation? Question number three, how many bonuses do you have per year? And question number four, how much? Do you receive? I mean, how much do you receive? How yes. much? Yes, better. How much do you receive? Talking about money, right? How much? How much money? So I will give you some minutes. Write them. Escribala. Tomen nota. Try to remember. Ah, me pagan cada dos meses. I mean, el bono, right? <laughs> I get my bonus every two months, every three months. O solo December. By the way, if you want to say aguinaldo, it's bonus. Yeah, so that's bonus. End of the year bonus. 
December bonus, but that's bonus. I will give you some minutes. When you finish, cuando ya tengan las respuestas, let me know, okay? Let me know. Remember, um, tenemos recursos. You can use your dictionary. Pueden revisar la pronunciación de alguna palabra que se les haya quedado por ahí, que tengan dificultad in YouTube, in the dictionary, in the translator, okay? Uh, so, me avisan. Let me know when you finish. Tell me finish, please. Deme confirmación verbal when you finish. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? So, vamos a responder. We are going to answer estas cuatro preguntitas que usted tiene acá. Do you have paid vacation? Question one. Question two. How many days do you have in your vacation? Question number three. How many bonuses do you have per year? And question number four. How much do you receive? Si tenemos dificultades con la respuesta, revisamos qué les respondieron ellos. Take a look. Le pregunto, okay. for example, how many days do you have? Y la persona le dice 20 days. Entonces, ¿qué es la pregunta? Ah, le está preguntando de cuántos días, cuál es el número, right? So, revisamos las respuestas to get an idea. Uh -huh. Cinco minutos, chicos. Teacher. Teacher. Mutió el... El Perdón, sí, sí, sí. Dígame, Elizabeth, tell me. Teacher, ¿qué significa donde dice per? per? Mm, es solamente es, eh, así lo utilizamos. Oh, yeah. Como para decir en español por, por día, per day, per month, per year. Es una forma eh, de decir por, pero para fechas. Ajá. Pero eh, eh, y dice por año. ¿verdad? Por año, correcto. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. Um, you are welcome. Tiempo. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, question. Yes. Uh, the, the answers uh, should be in first person or three person? No, uh, Cesar, this is like a, um, a direct question from me to you. Yo sé que algunas de estas preguntas son como bien personales, right? Y que usted puede decir, uy, no le voy a decir cuánto gano. No, <risa> no, 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 yo prefiero a que, eh, basado en la respuesta que está, basado en la respuesta que está ahí, si, si hay que responderla como que sí, yo, sí. yo, a mí me estuvieran preguntando basado en esa respuesta o basado como que estoy hablando por una tercera persona. Ah, no, no, César, la pregunta es bien directa, ¿verdad? Eh, mm -hmm. Si se fija, dice, por ejemplo, do you have paid vacation? Imagínese que no es Josh quien responde, sino que es usted quien responde. So, okay, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Excellent. Oh, by the way, si uh -huh. se sienten como un poco incómodos compartiendo la información de su bonus, de cosas, pers uh, like, personal details, no hay ningún problema. Usted puede inventárselo, right? My bonus is $2,000. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, so. okay, no, no, no worries. I mean, it's fine. Sabemos oh, que... Okay. que no, I mean, I totally understand. Si hay algún detalle, por ejemplo, si en algún momento vamos a compartir, like, phone numbers, como práctica, ID, eh, hay preguntas bastante, bastante sensibles, como la que está acá, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto gana? How much do you earn? Eh, entonces, no hay problema, invéntesela. So, make it up, all right? La idea es practicar. So, that's the, the purpose. Mm -hmm. So, me, let me know. You're welcome. Let me know when you finish. 
Teacher. Yes. Soy Milagro. Yes. Eh, <laughs> allí en la última pregunta hay dos preguntas. Mm. What about you? Mm -hmm. And how many do you re re receive? Yeah, receive. How about you? No le vamos a contestar. Esto es solamente cuando usted está siguiendo la conversación y le pregunto, ¿y usted, oh, okay. Milagro? How about you? Oh. Entonces no es necesario. Mm -hmm. Vamos con la última. Yes. How much do you receive? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Gracias. Oh, in the meantime, mientras terminamos eh, de responder las preguntas, let's remember que cerramos de 100. So we normally use 100. 100, 200, 300. Si vamos a hablar de 1,000, we can use 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So para que también, like, we can remember that part. Um, if we use, like, dollars, Solamente decimos $100, $200. How much is your bonus? $900. So we can use, you know, the word 100 para hablar de cienes. De cientos, 100. Do you need more time? One minute, two minutes? Finish this, teacher. One minute, please. Okay, okay, that's all right. Thank you, Andres. Thank you, Silvia. Got you. Okay, so give me just a second. Voy a mover la pantalla. I'm gonna like uh, delete it just for a second. And in the meantime, déjenme revisar la asistencia rapidito, like super, super quick. Veo que algunos quizás tuvieron dificultades, you know, to connect. So give me just a second. Um, de igual forma, chicos, agradecerles enormemente por por estar acá, por el tiempo, you know, que, que estamos invirtiendo, right? And yo sé que es difícil estar como sentadito las dos horas, but thank you very much, y especialmente por, por esas ganas de, de aprender, like, desde el día número uno, de tener la cámara encendida también, thank you so much. Eh, let me go over the attendance, solamente me dicen eh, present, please, cuando mencione su nombre, y me enciende la cámara, please. Eh, Fatima teacher, yes, miss. Eh, teacher, es, solo quería consultarle, fíjese que cuando abrí la plataforma para hacer la tarea, eh, me apareció un mensaje, se lo escribí a Hazel, parece, el, la persona que manda toda la información de los uh -huh. links y todo eso, y aún no me ha resuelto. Mm. Y ahorita que yo entré para recibir la clase, me aparecía con fecha de 30 de octubre. Con fecha de 30 de octubre. Ajá, entonces tuve que mandar? hacer como todo el proceso. Tuve ¿Sí? que volver a hacer todo el proceso desde el link del WhatsApp, inscribirme otra vez para poder entrar a esta fecha. Porque yo lo dejo ya en, en favoritos, ya listo. Uh -huh. 
Solo para darle. Ajá, solo para darle el link y bien raro, me parecía bien raro. ¿A alguien más le dio dificultades? Si gusta, Sandra, hágame un enorme favor, me lo puede reenviar. Can you like? Eh, compártelo en el grupo si gusta, en el grupo de WhatsApp, porque okay. ahí están eh, nuestra coordinadora y también los chicos de soporte. Entonces, para que ellos le, le indiquen si es solamente es como una actualización, algún error o algún glitch de sistema o, o realmente hay como que hacer algún paso más, ¿verdad? Y así Perfecto. Uh -huh, lo hacemos más yo rápido. se lo envío, yo se lo envío ahorita. Thank you, thank, thank you so much. Okay, is everybody finished? Did you finish, guys? Are you ready? Yes. Elizabeth, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Silvia, I heard you said yes. Okay, thank you. So in the meantime, eh, solamente, let me just continue and let me go for your attendance, okay? Solo, please, ayúdenme, like, with your camera and tell me present. So I got a uh, Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Ava. Present teacher. Thank you, Guillermo. Present. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, let me see. Isaac. Isaac. Are you here? Yeah, I think Isaac is there. Yeah, okay, I'll come back to him. And uh, I have, uh, let me see, Elizabeth. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Um, Luz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luz. And let me see, Sandra, Sandra Patricia. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, mm -hmm. Edith. Present. Thank you. Silvia. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present. Thank you, Francisco. And uh, here, let me see. Veronica Yesenia. Present. Thank you so much. Doris. Present. Thank you, Maria Milagros. Milagros estaba hace un par de segunditos. Ya, yeah, ahí está. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer. Present. Thank you. Andrés Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Green coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. Okay. Uh, in Cesar Lopez. <laughs> Present. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, very good. So, um, I believe everybody finished, right? Everybody has the answers to the questions, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, eh, Sandra. Ahorita acabo de ver. I just saw it today. Uh -huh. Vaya, acá los chicos, esper esperaría que el día de mañana le estén co contestando. I really hope so. Y le pueden resolver. No worries. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, everybody. So now, what we are going to do is this. We are going to go to the groups, to the small groups one more time and try to answer these. Estamos practicando how much and how many and we have to answer these questions. How many bonuses do you get? How much are they? Okay. How much extra money do you get? <laughs> so how much and how many? I will give you some minutes to practice and when you finish, regresamos. We will come back. So give me just a quick second. Hold on, hold on. Remember, questions and answers. Como ya tenemos las respuestas, it's going to be easier. No, no va a ser, like, too difficult. So, okay, everybody, let's join the groups. I'll give you five, five minutes, and then we come back. Five minutes.
Ok, le hago la pregunta entonces a Ada. Do you have okay. paid vacation and your job? Yes, I have a vacation. Ok, uh, pregúntele usted la misma a, a Luz y así vamos para... Y, y no, no contestamos todas las preguntas y así lo tenemos lo de todas cada una. ¿Te parece? Ok. Así okay. ya lo tenemos complemento. O sea, todo pues. Yes. ¿Te Ajá. parece? Okay, sí, entonces yes. le hago la siguiente pregunta. Sí. Así How, many days? How many days do you have in your vacation? Fifteen eh, days. Okay. How many bonus do you have per year? Hello. Yeah. Yes. yes. And two bonus. And how much do you receive? Uh... <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. You can, you can, you can make a new answer. Don't worry, no, don't worry. <laughs> the idea is to practice. The idea is to practice the numbers. So you can, you can say a different, say a different number. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. One hundred fifty dollars. It's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Ahora pregunte usted a da a alguien más. ¿A quién? A usted misma. <laughs> ah, vaya, démosle pues. Uh, how do you vacation in your job? Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál era la otra? How many days uh, did you vacation? My vacation in this whole month of December. Of September. No, uh, December. December. How many bonus do you have the your job? I have a uh, one bonus one for bonus. year. Mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> I receive uh, four hundred. Okay. Sandra is like only one. Okay. <laughs> Ahora Luz con Dori, si gustan. Sí, así hay el... Hey, Doris. Casi no le escucho, Luz. Hola. Casi no le escucho. ¿Y ahora, Doris? Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Hi. Hey, Doris. I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your house? Yes, I have paid vacation vacation in my job. Um, me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? I have 15 days in my vacation. Uh, I have just two. But, ese me tocaba, ¿verdad, Doris? ¿O el otro? Sí, sí, con la pregunta de how many bonuses. Sí, I, I have four bonus, bonuses. What about you? Um, how much do you receive? Receive? Re, re, receive. 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 Gracias. Oh, sorry, you can say receive. Receive, es la cosa. Receive. Receive. Yes, receive. Receive. Doris okay. is thinking. <laughs> She's like, digo la verdad, do I tell the truth? <laughs> Don't worry. Es un ejemplo que le voy a dar. <laughs> Porque no recibo bonos. I receive, I receive, receive. Uh, two bonuses of two hundred. 
but it is extra money so it's good it's welcome pero es mentira sorry ajá la pregunta la pregunta del millón cha 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 I how I much do you receive of okay. bond uh -huh. I receive two hundred <laughs> Okay, do you have paid vacation at your job, uh, Cesar? Uh, yes, I have. How many days do you have in your vacation? I have 21 days of vacations. How much do you receive? I receive $500. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Francisco, do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I have. And how many days do you have in your vacations? I I have 21 days. Wow, that's three weeks? Yes. Nice, you are so blessed. I have yeah. maybe two son, days. <laughs> son partidas, nuestras vacaciones son partidas. Mm, okay, so you yeah. have August vacation, December vacation, Holy Week yeah. vacation. Okay. Just, okay. Si yo hice yeah. sido por la, por la pandemia, yo no tengo vacaciones. Yeah. Tengo 19 años estar en la misma empresa y sí. nunca me he ido de vacaciones. Sin vacaciones. Sí. Entonces no es por la pandemia. <laughs> Sí, definitivamente. So it is not because of the coronavirus. Sí. Oh, demasiado absorbente. No. Really? Pero yeah. así, pero así es el bonus. Así es el. Ah, yeah, Good quisiera, point. Si es lo más Good triste. Point. And pay. ¿Para qué lo digo? Who saw some pay bonus? <laughs> yeah, super good. Super, super good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very nice. So you got 21 days. Um, Guillermo has no vacation. Francisco and you? But, excuse me, can no, you repeat? How many? How many days are your vacation? I have uh, 21 days. Oh, oh, you said 21. Sorry, I thought it was Caesar. Yes, yes. Caesar and you? Uh, 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 me too. I have oh. 21 days. Okay. But it is, is partido. Split. Split. Uh -huh. And, and, and yeah. Edith, what about you? I have 50 only. <laughs> okay. Yeah, only two days. weeks. Uh -huh. Only two weeks. In my case, uh, I have vacation. But it depends. Sometimes they are not paid. <laughs> so I have like free vacation. <laughs> like two <Wow>. months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really depends. Sometimes you can get paid vacation, sometimes no. Or sometimes, as Guillermo, eh, decido trabajar. I choose to work. I mean, and it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But in El Salvador, that's the most common, right? Do you work your vacation? Las trabajan o las piden? Do you go to your okay. vacation? Yo está, está, eh, trabajé tres años en Honduras. Y Guillermo, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Es que no sé por qué. Trabajé tres me... años en Honduras en la <laughs> compañía y, y es lo mismo, o sea, no tenía vacaciones. Ah, por el mismo hecho entonces, que, que el, el trabajo es tan exorbente que no, no okay. puedo dejar de faltar un día. No es que no pueda, o sea, yo, el trabajo que Ustedes escogen no, no hacerlo. You choose not to do it. Guillermo, no es opcional. Lo que pasa es que. De, de nada me sirve que me vaya y me están llamando a cada momento. Tengo que desconectarme del todo, pero es imposible. Ah, okay. Where do you What, work? You yeah, yeah that, that was my question, Cesar. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> sí, <laughs> trabajo en central, central hidráulica. Oh, Soy jefe wow. de producción de ahí. Oh, uh -huh. so you are a, a co-worker of... Um... Sí, Cristian. Yo soy Christian. jefe de Cristian. No. Wow. <laughs> Guillermo, tengo que ponerle queja. Okay. No hace falta. O grito a clase. No Voy a aprovechar a ahorita. No, no. Do you no hace know? falta que lo haga. No, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Tranqui. But, no, pero sabe sé. que Cristian está viendo. Is he okay? I mean, I'm asking you porque él nunca falta. He's like. No, I, I don't know. Yo sé que se retiró mm -hmm. temprano, pero más nada. Ah, oh, okay. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I believe our time is gone here. So please, everybody, let's go back. Okay, let's return to the main station. Cool. Thank you. It was fun okay. talking to thank you. you. Thank you. Too. Bye. Go back. Bye bye. No. Bye bye. Let's go back. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, all right, I think everybody's back, 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 back. Hello. Teacher, quería consultarle que me puso de Muñoz. Yo no soy ya de Muñoz. Le cambié. Ah, permite. Ahorita, ahorita. Y no me van a poner el D en el diploma. Bye, no se preocupe. <ríe> Solo es suyo mismo, de nadie más. This is yours. <ríe> ya está. <ríe> no worries. <ríe> Creo que en el proceso se lo cambie. I think I change it. Ok. Sí, uh, voy a presentarle el Uy, mejor, ya modificado. Ah, tres. Perfecto. That sounds super, super good. Y así se evitan, like, a lot of inconvenience, right? Yeah, si ya lo tiene, ya better. Muchísimo mejor. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for coming back. Me falta alguien. I'm still missing one person. I'm missing one person. Okay, now we're good. Now we're complete. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I have these uh, questions that I want to I want to ask you guys. I want to listen to some of you. Uh, with some, we already discussed them, but still, let me ask you some. So, uh, does everybody have paid vacations? Todos tienen vacaciones pagadas. Do you have paid vacations? Yes. For everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Everybody. So, everybody has paid vacation. Number two. How many days do you have in your vacation? Escuché 21, 21 days. What about the rest? How many days? 15 days. 15. 20, 21 days. 21 days. With mm -hmm. years all the of the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. 16 days. 15, 21. 16 days. Okay. I can travel How about month? How month? Whoa, Sandra? ¿Cómo se podría decir que recibe las vacaciones, todas las vacaciones del año? Uh, y esto se refiere a qué, Vero? <risa> o sea, uh, a que las vacaciones no las dan, eh, bueno, en mi caso no me las dan como los 15 días, sino que me las distribuyen todo el año. Ajá, en las vacaciones que dan. Distribuidas. Ajá. Un día. Yo trabajo como el mini, con, con las vacaciones del ministerio. Pero eso, ¿cómo se, cómo se diría? Vale, podemos decir esto. Podemos decir, I don't get your vacation, que es como la que recibimos los demás, ¿verdad? Que es como, usted se va los 15 días, pero, no, pero por ejemplo, no tiene la, los 6 días de, de la vacación de, de San Salvador, right? So, entonces, if I don't get your vacation, Deme un segundito solamente que um, creo que tengo interferencia a little. Ok, there we go. So, podemos decir, I don't get your vacation. Or you can say, my vacation. My vacation is split. So my vacation is split. Es como mi vacación está dividida, right? Está como fraccionada. Or you can say, I get the holidays. Of for my vacation. I mean, hay bastantes formas como se lo puede decir. There are like a lot of ways. You can say, I don't get your vacation. My vacation is split. Or I get the holidays off as part of my vacation. So, los holidays son esos de Semana Santa, you know, los, el de San Salvador. I don't remember how to call it. San Salvador, etc. So, any of these ways funciona. So, they are super good. The most facile sería like, my vacation is a split. And that's it. All right. So this is the easiest. Okay, everybody. So, um, okay, we got 15 and 21 days. Next question. How many bonuses do you have per year? How many bonuses? One, two, three, four, 12. How many bonuses? One. 
One. Never. Oh, sorry. Zero. One. Milagro la más afortunada recibe cuatro. Sure. The answer really? is I don't receive bonus. You don't receive bonus. He me dijo que no. Who told me no? I couldn't see the name. Andres. Ah, oh, Andres. That's a receive bonus. I am never bonus. No, Andres, I'm sorry. So he never received bonus. <laughs> Milagro? <laughs> you don't receive bonus either? Sorry, Milagro. Um, Teacher, it's the usual work in El Salvador. I don't receive bonus. No, but remember? Yes, I know. But do you remember uh, ventas? Sales? Ventas. Sales? That. that. Mm -hmm. If you work in sales, you receive more bonus. That is true. Yes. That is true. But, but remember? Yes. Escuché la voz de alguien, but I couldn't figure out. Tell me, sí, tell me. Dije, los call centers sí dan bonus. In the call center, you can get a bonus. That's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. And also, something important, guys, is that bonus le llamamos al aguinaldo. And I guess everybody receives the December bonus, right? Or no? Andres, ah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> Andres, no bonus. Oh, o sea, man. si era Aguinaldo, sí. Si, si era bonus, no. Ah, Pero el Aguinaldo que no es un pago por ley. Ah, yes. pues sí. Yes. 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 Un bonus es algo extra. Algo extra. Se llama pues, bonus. Ah, what what, what llama happens? Bonus. What happens is that in English, a bonus puede ser algo extra, algo adicional, all right? Or a bonus es el que usted recibe al final del año que le llamamos, llamamos aguinaldo, correct? So, a bonus is, a vacation bonus is your aguinaldo, uh-huh. So, do you receive bonus? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right? I received aguilucho. Uh-huh, so, I mean. In other country, in other country is two bonus for in, year. It depends. Yeah, Honduras be. Es similar to Aguinaldo. Yeah. In Honduras okay. es así. Usted recibe 14 sueldos al año. El en junio le dan otro Aguinaldo, uh -huh. similar uh -huh. a su sueldo okay. íntegro, y el en diciembre le dan otro Aguinaldo igual. In, in okay. Honduras. In Honduras. Exactly. Honduras. Sí, in Honduras. El Vámonos todos para to Honduras. Honduras. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, aquí también en El Salvador. ¿En El Salvador? ¿En qué parte? ¿En qué compañía? Los bancos. Los bancos. In the bank. Los bancos. In the los government. In the government, alguien trabaja para el gobierno. Do you work for the government? No. Ah, la gobierno no. 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 Ahora trabaja en el seguro. Ahí dan bonus, ah, 14 cierto, bonos al año. 14 Oh, 14. Ah, bueno. Ah, ok, ok. So, yeah. 14 bonos al año, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 14 bonos al año. 14 bonos al año. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I work in the seguro. A los de los tis, nada más. A ver, what happens is that ya nos emocionó, queremos ser doctores también. No, no, no. Nice, uh, thank you. Uh, 14 salaries. Mm -hmm. You receive 14 salaries. Okay, very good. Uh, and the last question it says, How much do you receive? As we were saying before, this may be a very sensitive question. Entonces, usted invente solo, right? I receive $50. I receive $100. It's okay. It's fine. Now, let's take a look. We are going to take a look at how much and how many. So let's take uh, the first question How much do they pay? Okay, please everybody, let's repeat. How much, how much? No, how much, how much? How much do they pay? How much? How much do they pay? Como decir jamás, pero much. How much do they pay? Okay, how next. How much do they pay? Question two. How much do they charge? How much, how much do they charge? charge? How much do they charge? Charge. Money. Charge. charge. How much charge. do they charge? Charge. Charge, charge. charge. money. Charge. Mm -hmm. charge. For example, when you say, ooh, Tigo is terrible, they charge me. So charge, me cobraron, they charge me. Okay, so how much do they charge? All right. Next question, how, how much, much is, is it? Cobro. 
recover. How much, how much is, is it? Mm -hmm. Like, how much is your cell phone? How much? How much is it? How much is your cell phone? My cell phone is like $60. And yours? How much is it? $10. <laughs> $10. $14. dollars $14. So, how much? All right. And the next one is, how much do you earn? Everybody, let's repeat. How much do you earn? How much, how how much do, you do you earn? earn? Do you earn? Exactly. How much do you earn? In El Salvador, we say per month. Monthly. Okay. Al mes. In United States, El salario o cuando usted gana se mide anualmente. How much do you receive a year? But in El Salvador, contamos como el dinero mensualmente, like a month, per month, okay? So, how much do you earn? ¿Cuánto usted gana? How much do you earn every month? Yeah. For example, in your company, guys, in your company, how much do they pay? ¿Cuánto, cuánto pagan? Like your company, ¿cuál es el salario? El salario como rango, right? How much do they pay? How much do they charge? 304.17. Oh, the, the base salary. Okay. And how much do you earn? Uh, remember, esta pregunta es bastante sensible. How much do you earn? Hablamos de dinero, right? A nadie le gusta compartir, like, personal information. Así que inventaselo, you're good. Oh, I earn a lot of money. <laughs> I, it's fine. <laughs> or I earn a little money. And it's okay. We're good. So let's take a look. Vamos a revisar cómo lo usamos. How do we use how much and how many? All right. So we have, for example, the first. And here we have how much or how many do they pay? Lo que vamos a revisar. How much or how many? How much? How, how much? How much? How many of the is this one? How much? How many? How much do they do they, mm -hmm. do they pay? What is the correct answer? How much or how, how many? How much do um, they pay? How much? Many. Acabamos de revisarla. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Take a look. Revisamos las preguntas. Take a look at the questions. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much do they pay? Number two, how much or how many days? How many? How many, how many days? How many? How many? How many days? How many days? Do how you many have days? days? Y si revisamos, how many, many days? days. That's how many. Mm -hmm. So how many days do you have in your vacation? Yeah. How much do they pay? So, guys, ¿cuál es la diferencia? What is the difference between how much and how many? ¿Cuándo usamos uno o cuándo usamos el otro? How much, how much cuánto, cuánto es de dinero. dinero. How, how many much? Is the cosas, cuánto. How many? Ok, eh, so, escucho a Milagro y me dice how much de dinero. Yeah, you're right. Guillermo, ¿me mencionó algo más? How many es para contabilizar. How many is para contabilizar? Yes. Okay, okay, you got it. Yeah. De, days or, or objects. Days or objects, yes, very good. So give me examples. Si entonces how many lo uso para contabilizar, ¿qué pueden ustedes contabilizar? Díganme ejemplos. ¿Qué pueden decir? One, two, three, four, five. Cosas. Cosas, pero por artes, ejemplo. Personas. personas people. Chairs, yes. Days. Yes. Days. Libros. Books. Money, here. Money, 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 no, money, no, money, no, porque el dinero lo contamos en centavos, pero no la palabra dinero. Entonces, money la uso al otro lado. Money lo voy a utilizar con how much, porque how much es para cosas que no pueden decir uno, dos, tres. Cosas que no se pueden pluralizar. Entonces, veamos que son algunos ejemplos que no pluralizamos. Por ejemplo, ¿Puedo, ¿puedo, decir, ¿puedo decir home? Ya, yeah, Guillermo, tell me. ¿Puedo decir how many coins? How many coins? Yes, porque usted puede contar las monedas. You're right. Uh, so, how much? Guys, hagamos una cosa. Let's do something. En el chat, in your chat, 
escríbanme ejemplos de palabras que ustedes pueden que ustedes pueden contabilizar. Les voy a dar 30 segundos. Una cosa, write one thing que podemos contabilizar. Que usted puede decir one, two, three, four, five. Como el dos. Como el paro. So, escríbanme en el chat, please. Write them in the chat, así las revisamos. You take a look. Y nos queda guardada as well. Thank you, Andrés. I see coins, pencils, book cards. Very good. Animals, books, balls. Yes, very good. ¿Qué más, chicos? Give me more, give me more. Give me more examples. ¿Qué más pueden contabilizar? What else can you uh, make plural? How many billets? Um, lose billets? No sé si se revierte. Um, billets, billets. Houses, Silvia, yes. How much do you love me? Okay. Cups, animals, okay. Cups, vegetables, shoes, cell phones, yes, Andres. Three, free, 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 free. Fruits, okay, fruits, Jennifer, that's okay. Beds, objects, pencils, book, card, dresses, pencil. Yes, very good. Esas son cosas que nosotros podemos contabilizar, okay. Y una característica bien interesante es esto. Pongamos atención a las palabras. Si se fijan, algunas me les han agregado S. Las pluralizamos. Entonces, utilizamos con how many todas aquellas que yo pueda hacer eso, que yo pueda pluralizar y que yo pueda contar. Very good. Luz, solamente me quedó una dudita por ahí con un ejemplo. No, eh, no estoy segura, pero quiero confirmar con usted. Es el que dice how many billet. No sé si se refería como a los billetes. Sí, correcto. Como escuché que también se podía hacer con coins, con monedas, entonces yo lo asimilé a billetes. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. Sí se puede. Podemos contabilizar monedas, podemos contabilizar billetes, que serían los bills. Eh, lo que no podemos contabilizar es la palabra dinero, money. Entonces, siempre que usted diga money, vamos a usar el opuesto, que sería how much. How Ahora, much? give me a big, help me with this. Quiero que me escriban ejemplos de todo aquello que va acompañado de how much. Es decir, todo lo que yo no puedo pluralizar, todo lo que yo no puedo contabilizar, que yo no puedo decir one, two, three, how much. Ok, water, very good, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Give me more, give me more. How much water, how much money, yes. How much green? Oh, green, ya me le agregó la S, o sea que no se puede. <laughs> water, you're good. Salt, yes. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Pensamos. Stars. Stars ya me le agregaron la S, entonces ya no es con how much. Religion. How much religion? Pero la religión es algo muy abstracto. Sí, es como un poquito abstracto. No es algo, ajá, no sé. Milk. Ok, es un líquido. Yes. How much sand? Ok, much better. Price. Pero how much price? Mm, eso es un poquito diferente. Ada. Ok, very good, Ada. Um, solo que le veo here creo que se me combinó el español ah, the here, how much here yes, very good Beans. arena Pero, no puedo <risas> ah, arena está bien, Stan eh, Caesar, solo que Beans ya me le agregó S recuerden, si le agregó S entonces ya no va con how much no. si le agregó S no puede ir con how much ok, si le agregan S va con how many, how many clouds how many beans Ajá, el agua del mar. Yes, in English, <laughs> the, sea, the sea water. <laughs> uh -huh. Pain, how much pain? Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. How much clouds? But, uh, Guillermo, I, I understand your point, pero tenemos clouds. Entonces, si yo pluralizo clouds, si yo le agrego la S, es que no puedo how utilizar how much. Many. Sería how many clouds are in the sky. Remember, plurales va con how many. Juice, very good, Cesar. Rain, how much rain? Yes. How much use? El cabello, yes, hair. How much hair? Oh, I have a lot of hair. Uh-huh. It's okay. Estamos bien? Are we good? Yes. Preguntas? Do you have any question? Sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Milagro, tell me. How, how many is cuántas? Cuántas? Yes. Y how much? Es lo mismo. Mm. Entonces, es la única... Di Correcto, es lo mismo. Si usted lo oh, quiere traducir okay. al español o quiere es comprenderlo en español, how much es cuánto, how many es cuánto. La diferencia es, ¿qué es esto? ¿Cuántos y cuánto? Uno, 
Oh. Puedo pluralizarlo, All right. el otro no. ¿Cuánto dinero andas? Sí. ¿Ya? El how, many, el how many se puede pluralizar. Correcto. How much no. Sí. Porque how much son ¿Cuánto, líquidos. ¿Cuánto, cuánto uh -huh. dinero? ¿Cuánto dinero? Uh -huh. How much? Yes. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? Correcto. ¿Cuánto si yo digo dinero, cuántos entonces, salarios, cuántos salarios. Ya me lo pluralizo. How entonces, many? Exactly, how many. Exactly. How many. Pero solamente vamos a considerar esto, Milagro. Hay palabras en inglés que son diferentes al español. Por ejemplo, la palabra pan, la palabra no bread. Bread no se puede pluralizar. En español usted dice los panes, pasame dos panes, right? Me voy a comer dos. Pero en inglés no se puede. En inglés decimos how much bread, porque no se pluraliza. Se oh. pluralizan los pedazos de pan. Entonces, es, es un poquito diferente algunas palabras, pero en general esa es como la idea, right? ¿Puedo pluralizarlo? How many. No puedo pluralizarlo, how much. Y así lo manejamos. We, we handle it. Oh, okay. uh -huh. ¿Cómo vamos a saber en inglés cuáles se pueden pluralizar en español? Sí, ah, en ¿por inglés, no. no, no se preocupe. Son como, hay una lista bien específica. Yo se las comparto luego. I will share it with you. Uh -huh. No worries. Ok, so let's take a look. Dice que use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. So, let's take a look. Vamos a utilizar how much or how many para completar el ejercicio que tenemos acá. All right? Vamos a intentar hacer preguntas. How much or how many? For example, number one. Dice, it is 10.50. Si ustedes revisan, les voy a compartir lo que la presentación anterior. Ok. Revisemos esto. Take a look at this. How much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? Si gustan tomarle captura, you can take a screenshot, pueden tomar notas. Voy a ver un minutito. Teacher, otra Hola, pregunta. Eh, ahí donde dice, la última, how much do you earn every month? Quiere decir, eh, ¿Cuánto ganas mensualmente? Correcto. ¿Y monthly? Es lo mismo. Mensualmente. Perdón. Lo que sucede es que recuer recordemos que hay muchas, muchos sinónimos, muchas formas de decir las cosas. No es como eh, limitado, right? Every month es todos los meses. Every month. Cada okay. mes. Todos los meses. Cada monthly. Mes. Es cuando usted dice mensualmente, right? Como oh. cuando usted dice every day, todos los días. Pero si usted me quiere decir diariamente, lo único que va a hacer es decir day y luego daily. me le agrega li, daily. Ajá. Y es lo mismo, está diciendo absolutamente oh. lo mismo. Uh -huh. okay. Yep. ok. Thank you. You're welcome. So, eh, ya tienen las preguntas. Do you have these questions? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Copiadas so, no las tenemos. No, no se preocupe. I mean, vamos a utilizarlas. Y si no, está en la página número... Si no me equivoco, está en la página 13. 14. 14. Thank you. Ok. Page number 14. So you got it in number 14. Yes. Ok. Now, let's take a look. Let's Dame un segundo, teacher. Ah, vaya, no worries. Una captura. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sure. Teacher, la palabra mon... Puede ser en plural también, ¿verdad? Como months. ¿Se puede? Entonces, ¿por qué está como how much? ¿A dónde? En, la, en las oraciones, en la, de las, el cuadrito ese. Dice, how much do you earn every month? Ah, porque la pregunta, César, no se refiere al mes. La pregunta no es como cuántos meses, sino que la pregunta es, si usted la lee, dice, how much do you earn? Y el verbo earn significa ganar. Entonces, estamos hablando ah. de dinero. Es como que usted venga y acá en este espacio usted le ponga, how much money? Entonces, hablamos de dinero. Okay. Mm -hmm. A menos que la pregunta okay. sea como, ¿cuántos meses? ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Cuántos meses eh, descansas? Entonces, sí sería, how many months do you rest? Mm -hmm. Pero acá la pregunta okay. es referida a Mani. Uh -huh. You're welcome. 
Welcome, welcome. Let me know. Me avisen cuando ya las tengan, please. Let me know. Teacher, ¿qué significa en español? ¿Cómo significa? ¿Qué dice la tercera pregunta? How much is it? Okay. Yeah. ¿Cuánto es? For, for example, you go to, uh, to the pupusería, Elizabeth. You buy three pupusas and you ask the person, thank you for the pupusas. How much is it? So, the price. ¿Cuánto sale? ¿Cuánto es? Mm -hmm. Exactly. ¿Cuánto vale? ¿Cuánto sale? ¿Cuánto es? Mm -hmm. So, how much is it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Or Finish. You... Okay. Thank you. So, let's take a look. We are going to use the questions to complete these exercises. So, number one. What do you have in number one? What can we use in number one? Les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que veamos cuál es la pregunta que podemos usar que haga, que tenga relación con la respuesta. The one that matches. How much do you they charge? Oh. How much? Uh, please give me verbal confirmation when you finish. Finish. Thank you. Oh, it's raining. Okay, everybody, so let's take a look. Number one, what is the equation for number one? How much, How much is, is it? Uh -huh, excellent. Oh, it's 1050. Okay, for example, how much is your, I don't know, what can I ask you for? No veo nada around. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Number two, what do you have in number two? I make 545 monthly. What is the question for number two? How much do you earn? How much? Exactly. Um, How much do you earn? Cuánto ganas? How much do you earn? Number three. How much do they charge? How much do they charge? Correct. So they take 23 per item. Like for example, hey, how much do they charge for, I don't know, alcohol gel, for example. Number four, what is in number four? 
how much do they pay? Mm -hmm. Correct. How much do they pay? The company pays 690 with bonuses. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so now, guys, it's our time to practice. Since we are talking about this, how much and how many, do me a big favor. Escribamos tres preguntas. Write three equations using how much and write three equations using how many. Okay, three and three. Three with how much, three with how many. Uh, please always give me verbal confirmation when you finish. Teacher, una pregunta. Hola. Yes, yes, me le escucho, disculpe, que estaba en mute. Eh, Dígame. Teacher, cuando uno, cuando uno hace la pregunta, ¿cuánto cuesta tu blusa? Entonces, eh, en el buscador me dice, how much is your blouse gold? Porque aparece esa palabra de gold, gold. Gort, con TH, Gort. Yeah, le parece como, how much is your blouse worth? 
Lo que sucede es que como el traductor lo toma así, literal, lo que usted le pone, pero eh, la pregunta está bien, solamente quítele worth. Eso no, no lo utilizamos. How much is your blouse? Uh, Hasta ahí está bien. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Welcome. Do you need more time? Are you almost ready? So, si ya tienen las preguntas, let's do something. Escribámoslas en el chat para que practiquemos spelling as well y pueda ir revisándoselas, eh, like, randomly, okay? So, pueden comenzar a compartir un par de ejemplos. You can start sharing some examples in the chat. So, we can take a look at them, all right? And just confirm that you got it. Thank you uh, for the chat. I see we have some examples. How many days do you go to work? Mm -hmm. How much is your car? Yeah, very good question. I don't have. <laughs> okay. So how much is? Talking about money. How many people? Mm -hmm. Very good. Better. Solamente me le falta algo por ahí. Uh, how many people are eating? Lo demás super bien. The rest is very good. Uh, how many fruits do you eat every day? Okay. Okay. How many parks are there in your city? Very good, Ada. Nice. How many brothers and sisters do you have? How much? How many pets are in your house? How much is the TV? Very good. We are talking about money. Remember, whenever you see, um, like, how much? Ya hablamos como de, de algo, right? Like, si ven algo como, how much is? Ya estamos hablando de dinero. We're talking about money. How much is your cell phone? How much is your house? How much is your notebook? All right. So really quick, give me an example. Fatima, ayude con un ejemplo, please. Tell me your example. All right. Okay, guys, let's do something really quick. Ya casi nos vamos. It is about time, but no los quiero dejar ir antes de confirmar that we got it, que alcanzamos el objetivo de ahora. So please, everybody, eh, antes de irnos todos, denme un ejemplo. Give me an example, everybody. Verbally, please. Orally, orally. I want to listen to you. So, Guillermo, comienza con usted, Guillermo, if you are ready. How much word have you seen? Okay, how, okay. How much word have you seen? How much water, uh, maybe how much water does the sea have? Does the sea have? How much water, or how much water is in the sea? Mm -hmm. That the sea. Yeah, yeah. Ava, I, I see you are ready. Ava, let's go with you. How, how many, um, many days? Days do rest in the world. Very good. How many days do you rest? So, Guillermo, Ada, you're good. Caesar, let me listen to your example, Caesar. Mm. How many cars are in on the street? Mm -hmm. Very good. We got it. Uh, Sandra, what's your example, Sandra? Many, uh, how many tomatoes in the box? Uh huh. Very good. Luz, what is your example? Luz, you Luz. there? Guadalupe? 
Su ah, micrófono, Luz. Es, es que yo creo que prefiere Guadalupe a Tim, no le he preguntado. <risa> Guadalupe o Luz, what do you prefer? Luz. Luz, ok. I mean, because my name is Julia Marleni, pero si alguien me dice Marleni, yo no entiendo. <risa> I don't understand, I'm like, what? <risa> ok, mientras, mientras Luz, eh, Luz se prepara, le digo with Edith. Edith, give, give us an example, please. How many doors in your house? Mm -hmm. Very good. How many doors are in your house? Vero, are you ready? How much did you pay? How much? Did, did you, you pay? Okay, how much did you pay? Yes. Sandra? Uh, how much or how many? Any, cualquiera de ellas, any of them. Okay. Uh, how, many, how many days in the week? How many days are in the week? Very good. Milagro? Hi. Bueno, tengo... Uh, how much is your blouse? Mm -hmm. How much is your blouse? Y tengo... How many brothers you have? Mm -hmm. Very good. How many brothers do you have? That's okay. Andres, what's your example? How many pupusas eat? <laughs> How many pupusas do you eat? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, what's your example? <laughs> Is the How many people in the park? <laughs> How many? People Is the favorite the food? <laughs> How many people are in the park? Yeah, pupusas are our favorite food. I know, I know. Uh, Elizabeth, creo que no. Don't know pupusas. <gasps> Jennifer, you break my heart. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth, what's your example? Uh, how much water falls from the sky? How much clouds are in the sky? Mm, solo que es como clouds, ya me le agregó la S, Elizabeth, entonces tendría que ser how many. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. how much solo... water, water? Oh, how much water? Yes, that's good, how much water? Water mm -hmm. falls, mm -hmm. falls from the sky. Yeah, water is okay. Le escuché cloud, perdón. Doris, what's your example? Silvia, do you have your example ready? How many windows? <laughs> yes, Doris, sorry. <laughs> perdón. No worries. Oh, okay. So, Doris, we can go with you. <laughs> okay. How well, many swimming pools are there in your residencia? residencia? Okay, very good. No. <laughs> Solo los baches. Silvia, what's your example? How many windows in your house? Uh -huh. Okay. Nice, nice. Me falta Francisco. Francisco, what's your example? How many days do you go to work? Uh -huh. Very good. And I'm missing it. Isaac. Isaac, ya está de regreso. Are you back? There you are. Um, how many... Clothes are in the sky. Okay, okay, that's good. Luz, ya está lista, Luz. Are you ready? Yes. How many eggs fishing? How many eggs? Eight fishing. How many, how many? Like, ¿cuántas personas? How many people? ¿Como cuántas personas comieron pescado? Ah, uh, este... Five. Five. Esa es la pregunta, right? ¿Cuántas personas comieron pescado? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. How many people? Solo le agregamos people. How many people ate fish? Oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Creo que todos, ya. Yeah? yeah, I'm done with everybody. Thank you. Nice, everybody. I think we got it. The how many, how much. Easily. Super cool. Thank you very much. Please, recordemos que tenemos la tarea diaria al igual que el foro diario, así que por favor me ayudan a completarla. Si la tienen lista para ahora, muchísimo mejor. Y si no tenemos todavía mañana para completarla, please. Thank you, thank you for your participation, for your Teacher, attendance. Yes, antes de María. que se vaya, regáleme dos minutitos. Bye, eh, dígame, fíjese claro. que ayer estuve haciendo la tarea. Entonces, cuando dice, por ejemplo, en la número uno, Uh -huh. Dice, I take a shower. Uh -huh. Entonces dice, obviamente, every minute no va, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Tampoco two, two times year. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. O sea, do, dos, dos veces al año. Bueno, Obviamente, ahí en la número uno, sí, o sea, uh -huh. every day, every day, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero luego, cuando ya en la número cinco dice, people at work go to conf conferences. Uh -huh. Entonces dice, every year, o sea, uh -huh. todos los años. Uh -huh. Entonces, a mí me parecía que que estaba bien decir todos los años, uh -huh. pero me salía mala. Entonces, eh, cuando le puse yearly, uh -huh. me salió correcta. Uh -huh. O sea, yearly es anualmente, me, me imagino, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, de hecho, mi libro es bastante similar a lo que usted me preguntaba antes, uh -huh. que porque estaba como every month y luego estaba monthly. Uh -huh. Lo que sucede es que como son sinónimos, ¿verdad? Otra forma de decir lo mismo. Entonces, por eso, es como el contenido. So, si no le acepta como, por ejemplo, every day, pongámosle daily. Si no le acepta every month, pongámosle monthly, que es lo mismo, pero de otra forma. Más uh -huh. bonito. O sea, a, mí, a, mí me, a mí me pareció, o sea, pero esa era mi pregunta. Dije, uh -huh. ¿será, ¿será por algo en especial que, que no me aceptó every, every year? No, le estaba pidiendo solo un sinónimo, quizás. Pero, pero gracias por compartirlo, porque si los demás compañeros que tal vez no lo han, no han completado esa parte, ya tenemos como la idea, si no me acepta una, me acepta la otra, right? So, oh. thank you so much. Yes. Okay. okay everybody. Thank you, so, teacher. See you, enjoy your night. Bye. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.